part two of this restoration of this Hona. What was it called again? Carmen. Hona Carmen. 24 base. So in the last little video, I took the treble side off just to have a look at the reeds. So I'll just put the base side down out of the way just for a minute. So we've got the treble side here. I've mentioned before, but um, it's always really good to take the pins out and have some way of organising them so they go back into the same place in the either treble or bass side of the accordion. So make sure that you, you try and do that, otherwise it doesn't quite go back so well. So that's really good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do next is tackle the reeds. That's the biggest job, is to get all the reeds out, all cleaned up and revolved be waxed back in before the tuning starts. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is, is just tackle the reeds, get that job done. So there's two reed blocks in this accordion and it looks like one is the white notes and one is the black notes. That's kind of what it looks like. So on each reed block you've got two sets of reeds and so you get one set of reed tuned slightly higher than the other to give you the tremolo. So what I'm going to do is take out the first reed block and show you how I go about uh, getting the reeds out and uh, ready for cleaning. So let me just put this down here and I'm going to just angle this down a little bit so you can just have a better view. There we go. So, uh, oh, very important just to get your cup of tea ready because it's really important to have a cup of tea. Uh, so the first thing is to get the reed blocks out. Now, on this one, I just need a little flat blade screwdriver. So it's got my favourite little screwdriver here. Let's just undo the little screw. Now, let's get a slightly, maybe slightly bigger one in there. Hasn't moved for a while. back. There's no screw on the other side so that should lift out. There, go. there we go. So what I'm going to do just for now is put the treble side down apart from that one reed block. I can come back to that later. Down there. So here we go. You have one of the reed blocks. So I said two, two sets of reeds. One's tuned slightly higher than the other. So the first thing I want to do is work out which is which. Now you shouldn't really blow through reed blocks with your, your own breath. But just for this little tiny bit I'm going to blow through just to work out which is which, just quickly which out which is the higher and the lower tuned set of reeds. So I need a pencil and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to compare one side to the other side and just see which is which. So choose a middle note. Ah, so you can hear the difference there. So this side is tuned higher than that side. So this is the high. So I'm just going to put a H on the re-block with pencil. And that's going to be the lower ones. So I'm going to keep these two sets of reeds completely separate because otherwise things get awfully muddly when you're tuning. So, just a check. There we go. Right, so now I've got my H and my L on there. Now the next thing, really important, is to make sure that the reeds go back in the same way they came out. Now to do this, I'm going to get myself uh, a scratcher and I'm going to get myself a little ruler. I've got a tiny ruler here. And what I'm going to do is on each. No, I'm not going to do that. What I would do normally is on each reed, I'd use my scratcher and a ruler to do a little diagonal scratch on the outside of the reed. So when I come to put it back in again, 
I can see that where that scratch is, it's going to be uppermost. But I've just realised that on these ones, which is quite nice, they've got a letter T on the outer side of the reeds, which is what Hona do sometimes, they put letters on them. And that means when I put the reeds back in, I'll just have the T facing up. And the reason that makes a difference is that when the accordion was put together, they would have put the reeds in one way and then tuned it. Now, if you then turn that reed over, it might be a slightly different reed, very, very slightly different pitch. And so only, only a little bit. And, and also the way it reacts to being in the reed block one way or other might vary a little tiny bit. So if you put the reed back in the same way that it was put in originally, you're more likely to have an easier job of, of getting it to sound nicely in tune without having to do too much tuning. So I always, always put the reeds in exactly the same way up that they came out. Okay, so in this case though, there are letters on the reed plates, so I don't need to worry about that, which is good. Now the next step is to get the reeds out. Just cut out that a bit there. So before I start, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of extra help. I've got myself a little blade and I'm just going to score along the front of each reed with a sharp knife because this part of the reed block at the front edge is where you can sometimes cause a little bit of damage to the wood as you get the reed out sometimes it can catch so if I just do a little score with my blade along the front edge of the reed block that's going to help okay so that's a good start now the next step is a little knife but as well as needing a knife I need a little pair of pliers because <clears throat> on this particular reed block there's little tiny nails at the corner of each reed and they're just extra security for the reeds if you like. So to get those out I need a little nice pair of pliers. There go. So before I start getting the reeds out let's just get these pins to come out. So all these pins I'm going to lift out. Actually well, I'll just do that more than you watch me get all the pins, I'll just get the pins out, just give me a sec. Okay, so I've just lifted a few of the pins out on the first reeds, if you like, just to show you how I'm going to get these reeds out. So I'm going to get a, a fine blade, which is a Swiss Army knife in this case, and I'm just going to very carefully lift up the reed from the front side. I'm going to just pop them down for a second. Go. I've just been very careful not to damage the wood of the reed block, but because I've scored, you can see that they're coming out quite nicely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go along the whole reed block, get all of these reeds out from the, these are the higher tuned set of reeds, get all of them out, and I'll show you how I'm going to clean them up. Great, now that all the reeds are out, and reed block is now lost its reeds. I'm going to clean up the reed block in a sec. So just first one to the reeds. So I'm going to take all the valves off and they just pull off. Sometimes they're um, on more succulent. These have been on for such a long time that the glue is just completely gone. So you can just pull them off. So once you've got all the, the valves off, I'll just do that in a sec. Then you've got XX excess wax on the reeds so that is just a question of scraping now this wax does go everywhere so just be aware that there's going to be wax flying absolutely everywhere and then what you'll find is that on the reed itself there's a little bit of leftover from the what from the valve and the and the glue glue gluing the valve on so so to get that off, just very, very carefully scraping the excess glue, just very gently, just to get that off.
And so I've just got all the excess wax off all the edges, got the, the glue off, and so you've got the reed, which is just the start of the first step of cleaning it. So I'll do all that to all of the reeds. Uh, if I just zoom in a minute, you can just have a look at what the reeds look like now. So these are what they look like now. Here we go. So what I'm going to do next is clean them. First step of cleaning, getting all the the wax and the glue off the reed. Uh, and then I'll come back and show you when I've got all that done and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so all the reeds are ready for cleaning. So they're all here, ready to go. And now the next step is to put them in my special ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm just going to grab that. Here it is. Now in the ultrasonic cleaner, what I'm going to do is put some warm water and a drop of ferro liquid. And I'm going to pop them in there for about 10 minutes. Once they come out, uh, I'm going to then dry them with a hairdryer, get them really dry, because obviously water, if you just leave it to sit, sit on the reeds, then there's a possibility of corrosion, but if you kind of clean them and then dry them thoroughly, then that's good. So I'm going to put them in the ultrasonic warm water, drop of fairy liquid, at 10 minutes, give them a good old clean up, and I'll show you what they look like when they've come out of the cleaner. And what I do find is that once they've been ultrasonically cleaned, they just sound brighter, sound nicer, so you get all the little kind of bits of dust and dirt and everything from off the reeds and underneath the reeds and everything else it just makes them sound really nice and also they they look quite shiny so i'm going to put them in through there and uh, i'll show you what they look like in about 10 minutes okay, okay so the reeds have all come out of the ultrasonic cleaner and there they are all already i've got my hair dry ready so i'm going to give them a quick blast just to make sure they're nice and dried off thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give me a little polish up with an old soft t-shirt. Um, so I'll give me a little polish up and I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. Okay, here they are. If I just zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. My arm. So, that way. yeah, all done. Uh, so they're all nicely cleaned, dried thoroughly with a hairdryer. Give me a little polish. And you can hear the sound of the reed when you ping them. They ring and they kind of got almost like a kind of a, they reverberate a little bit like a bell. Uh, and so these are nice reeds. And when you ping them, you can just hear that kind of a, the sound ringing on, and that's a nice sound. So some of the cheaper reeds, you, they're quite dull and lifeless, but when you get quite a nice reed, You can just kind of hear that ringing sound and uh, because they've been cleaned uh, it just means that they they sound as good as they can and uh, so I'm really pleased with that for 70 year old reeds I think these are in nice shape and uh, so it will make a, a nice sound uh, so I'm gonna stop yeah I'll just get back onto the screen in a bit I'm gonna stop the video there and um, that's that's enough for the first for this bit and in the next video what I'm going to do is show you how I uh, valve these reeds Yay. valve these reeds uh, and also I'll just go through uh, preparing the reed block for re-waxing so making sure that this is really clean it all waxes off a little bit of sand to get that really ready to have the 
ready to be waxed in. So I hope that's been a useful, where, where am I? Mm. hope it's been a useful video and um, yeah, next one, we'll get onto revolving them. Okay, thanks for watching.